Hi, my name is Annie from Hippocratics. We hope that you're all well. Um, you haven't heard from us in a while, um, but that's because myself and my brother are both full-time GPs and working for the NHS. So like you guys, we have been on the front line trying to help battle coronavirus. So all of our efforts have been concentrating there. We know that a lot of you um, who have been due to sit your AKTs and CSAs have had to have their examinations cancelled last minute due to coronavirus and it's a very uncertain time. The RCGP this week have released some guidance of ways they're helping um, some of their trainees, some of the trainees to um, get to the CCT um, to complete it. Um, so they have produce some information about something called the recorded consultation assessment, which they're going to temporarily use um, to assess in a similar way to the CSA. So today we're going to give you some information about that. So it has been produced very quickly in response to the coronavirus pandemic. So there's still understandably some things that need to be finalised and we're just waiting for a bit more information about certain aspects. This method of videoing um, consultations and sending it off to the RCGP was actually used before the CSA was introduced. So we are going back and, and using a similar kind of method now. So a little bit more about the recorded consultation assessment. At the moment, it's going to replace your CSA. It will be assessed to the same standard, however, as the CSA. The first session is going to be prioritised to those trainees who are due to complete their CCT on or before the 30th of September. So those of you who this would apply to, you should have, to have had some contact from your local deanery um, just to confirm your details. If you did fail the RCA, which I hope none of you will, you, it will not be counted towards the four attempts that you have towards passing the CSA. So what will be expected from you? You need to submit 13 consultations, all of which are about 10 minutes in duration. You can do audio consultations, video consultations or the traditional face-to-face -face consultations. It's up to you. You can have, you can use all of one type or a mixture of all three. So those of you who may be shielding during these difficult times can also submit some types of consultations as well. You need to submit them to a central secure digital platform. The RCGP are working with 14 Fish to develop this, so we're just waiting a bit for a bit more information um, about this aspect of things. Um, you can use your smartphone to record your consultations. You need to make sure that when you're recording your consultations, it's a continuous recording and not something that you've edited to get the best look of your consultation. Um, this is not how it would be if you were sitting in the CSA. So it has to be a continuous recording of your consultation. And you do need to get the patient consent. Um, the patient consent will also need to be submitted on the secure digital platform and there'll be ways of doing this. So how is it gonna be marked? It's going to be marked in exactly the same way as the CSA. You are going to have one, at least one, independent examiner marking each consultation. Marks are given from the three domains, so it will be data gathering, clinical management and your interpersonal skills, and you will be given a mark between a clear fail up to a clear pass, depending on how you perform. So what type of cases do they want you to submit? You need to submit cases covering the full length of the curriculum if possible. Try not to have more than two cases per curriculum heading. Try and get a new patient contact rather than a follow-up. And you need to try and have a spread of different types of patients in terms of their ages. So try and get some paediatric type cases as well as management of elderly patients. Try and include a mental health case. Include a case and you managing long-term conditions like cancer or somebody with multiple comorbidities. And try and include a case of an unscheduled care. So an emergency type case where you may need to refer someone into hospital if possible. Some of you may need to examine your patients when you're recording a specific case. And if this happens, you need to clearly explain to the patient what you're going to be examining, why you're going to be examining and exactly what you're going to be doing. This will also be marked by the assessor. So just make sure that you're clear on that. 
So you need to be putting together a portfolio of lots of different cases now. Um, some of you may think, well, actually, I have videoed some cases for my cots. Can I use those? If you've already submitted a video for a cot assessment and it's been assessed that way, you can't include that case. But if you've got any other cases where you've recorded and not used towards your assessment purposes, you can submit that. There will be a cost to the RCA. Um, it's supposed to be a similar kind of cost to the CSA, but we're waiting for final figures for that. Some of you might think, well, actually, I would much prefer just to wait for the CSA, so I'll just wait. Unfortunately, due to the government, government restrictions, um, there's no way of knowing when we'll be able to get back to the traditional CSA. And so at the moment, there isn't much option. It is just the recorded consultation assessments. So we've put together some top tips. Hopefully this will help you to gather um, enough consultations um, for your submission. So try and treat each case that you're seeing like it is the CSA, because at the end of the day, you are going to be marked like you would be if you were taking the CSA. Try and keep to your structure, so your consultation structures, um, whatever that may be. But if you want to have a look at our website, we have got some consultation structures there, which we're more than happy for anyone to use. Record as many consultations as you can. Um, this will allow you to go through and filter out which ones are good, which ones aren't so good. Um, so you can submit the best possible ones um, on the digital platform. Also use your um, people around you. You ask your um, trainers, your supervisors, they may have suitable cases coming up on their list, which they can always transfer over to your list so that you will have the best opportunity to pick up the best cases. So we wish you all the best with the RCA if you are um, having to submit information for this. If we do get any more information, we will, of course, um, put it on our website or make another video to, to let you know about it. But in the meantime, if you do have any questions, um, you can email us. Our email address is on our website. And we hope that you all stay safe and stay well. Okay, bye.